Welcome to my YouTube channel. So finally the last update of this year Kali Linux 2021.4 is out see what's new. So let's start. This is the login screen. Now log in here with your credentials. So this is the Kali Linux default XFCE desktop environment. This edition brings enhancements to existing features and is available on the official Kali new website to be downloaded or upgraded if you have an existing Kali Linux installation. In the new release XFCE 4.16.2 is used and also the current default desktop environment has been updated and tweaked. So this is the Kali main menu bar. And here you can see the alt tools with new icons. We get new changes in this version. We get changes in the quick launch tray in the top left. Adding a drop down menu to select the user for default terminal or root terminal. So this is the latest version of Kali Linux. You can check by yourself using this command. This is the setting window. Where you can customize your Kali Linux according to your need. Like wallpaper, icons, fonts, etc. Here we are not getting major updates. The first update is Kali on the Apple M1. Supported installing Kali Linux on Parallels on Apple Silicon Macs, well with 2021.4, Kali now also supports it on the VMware Fusion. The second update is extended compatibility for the Samba client. Samba client is now configured for wide compatibility, so that it can connect to pretty much every Samba server out there, regardless of the version of the protocol in use. This change should make it easier to discover vulnerable Samba servers out of the box without having to configure Kali. The third update is Easy Package Manager Mirror Configuration. By default, when a Kali system is updated, the Package Manager apt, downloads packages from a community mirror nearby. But did you know that it's also possible to configure Kali to get its package from the Cloudflare CDN? Or you can change the protocol if you want. The fourth update is Ka Boxer theme support. The latest update of Ka Boxer tools no longer look out of place, as it brings support for window themes and icon themes. This allows the program to properly integrate with the rest of the desktop and avoids the usage of ugly fallback themes. To finish with the modifications, a shortcut to PowerShell has been added to the terminal's drop-down menu. With this addition, you can now choose between the regular terminal, root terminal, and PowerShell. Kali Linux adds these tools in Kali's archive and network repositories. These all tools are useful for you and upgrade your skills using these tools. The next update is Desktop and Theme Enhancement. This release brings updates for all the three main desktops, XFCE, GNOME, and KDE but one that is common to all of them is the new window buttons design. Bonus tips for virtual desktops. You can add or remove workspaces with the shortcuts. Alt plus insert and Alt plus delete. And Control plus Alt plus arrow key to move in the direction of the arrow key. The next update is Kali Net Hunter updates. The next update is Kali ARM updates. Raspberry Pi 02 Watt support has been added. Raspberry Pi images now support USB booting out of the box, since we no longer hardcode the root device. This is the XFCE Task Manager is a task manager and system monitoring program made with the XFCE desktop environment in mind. It has a simple list of running processes and two simple non-resizable graphics showing CPU and memory usage at the Windows top area. This is the system resource that is used by Kali Linux. Almost 800 megabytes RAM used by Kali and swap memory is still zero. So that is it. This is the new update and features and new release of Kali Linux 2021.4. So which update you like please comment it. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. 
Thank you very much. See you in next video.